Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at the serverside.com and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how to get cherry pick a commit. Now I've got a folder here with no files in it. I can prove that by doing a little listing command. I'm just going to initialize a git repository and into this folder I'm going to create five files one at a time. So I'm going to create that file named alpha and I'm going to add it and commit it. Then I'm going to add another one named beta and notice that every time I commit it I provide the commit number and the number of files that are part of the commit. So here you see I've got a second commit for two files and we'll create a, a new file called charlie and do a third commit there. You can see these files being created on the fly. I'm going to create a, a fourth file named Whippet, and I will commit that fourth file as well. You can see that added there. And then finally I'm going to use the echo command to create one more file, and then commit that last file. And as you can see, I've now got five files, one, two, three, four, five, and I should have five commits as well. Um, oh, and look at that. I didn't do the commit command properly there. I need a dash M. And that looks good. I now have five commits. I think a ref log could even prove that. Five commits, five files, four, three, two, and one. Okay, now what would happen if I deleted all of these files? Okay, and then git commit. So now I've deleted all of those files. I've added the deleted files to the index and then committed that. Okay. I now have five commits there, or maybe actually a sixth, and I have no files in my repository. So the question that I would pose to anybody right now is, what would happen if I did a git cherry pick on this third commit. Okay. So if I cherry pick the third commit, that's the where there were three files, would I end up with three files in my folder? Because I have none now. Would I end up with two files in my folder? Would I get everything up to and until that third commit, but not the files that are included in that third commit? Or would I get only one file, that is that one file that was associated with that third commit? Well, it's time to see. The command to do that would be git cherry pick and then the number of the commit. I could probably use head two, but I'll do three, four, nine, four, six, d, four. All of a sudden, I now have that file, that commit now brought back. And you notice that I only end up with one file in my folder charlie.html. And so as you can see, the cherry picking, it doesn't take you back to the state that the repository was in at the point in time of the cherry pick that you've committed, that, that was committed. All it does is actually bring back the individual files or the individual changes that are associated with that one commit. Now, of course, I did this one file at a time. You may have a particular commit where multiple files were added, multiple files were deleted, and multiple files were edited. The point is if you cherry pick that commit, it will bring those changes back, but it won't bring other changes that, that may have previously existed. So it only brings back the changes that were associated with the commit that is being cherry picked. And so that, caught, that catches a lot of people off guard. Some people think that the behavior is going to be more like a git reset, but it's not. A git commit only targets the files that were associated with the commit that you're cherry picking. Uh, now the other thing that's worth mentioning is if I do a git ref log, you'll notice that I actually got a brand new commit added to my repo, added to my git history, and it now says git cherry pick third commit three files. And so you may not have noticed that, but the git cherry pick command automatically does that. It automatically registers a commit, which might be different from some of the other git commands you might use to manipulate files in your git history. 
Anyways, that's it. If you want to learn more, you can head over to the server side. We do have a, a full article on that, how to get cherry pick a commit, and we even have one on how to get cherry pick from another branch. And if you want to know more about me and what I'm up to, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ, and you can even get all of my files over on GitHub.